It's time for the Uncommonwealth Bonus Content. Hello and welcome everybody to the bonus content for Brittany Overton. Yes. Everyone. Uh, it's Philip and it's it's your friend Aaron. It's Aaron. Yep. We're talking about bonus content. We like to do this. It's actually one of my favorite things and a gift to Brittany yeah. because we get to pull out what we just uh, needed to hear or things that like was surprising out. to us, stuck out. There you go. Very good. Uh, about the the interview we just had. Yeah. One, I thought it was amazing. It was great. I uh, love what she's doing. It's really uncommon. It really is uncommon. And uh, she showed us a video, like a two and a half like highlight reel of something that she did. And I almost started crying. I didn't know this lady, but she was yeah. 90 talking about, well, yeah, when I was younger, we didn't have running water and like fascinating. Yes. Could you imagine like having your loved one gone and then getting something like this? Like, Whoa, what a gift. Well, that and like to realize exactly like you're talking to somebody and then they're bringing to light what they've actually experienced. Like, yes, over the last yes. 90 years, you know, you're like, right. Because I think for us, like, we just assume like we had like we haven't moved that far in technology and infrastructure yeah. and stuff, right? Right. And for me, just that two minute clip was like, oh, maybe the things that I think are, are I'm worried about now aren't that big a deal. Like, yeah. we have running water, yeah, we have food in front of us, like. Yes. Uh, we're not getting drafted because uh, that was the two minute clip. So I'm kind of like giving you guys kind of insight of the things that she can do. But man, what a talented person. And I think the fact that she wants to serve other people is something that I really got out of that. Uh, yeah. And then her and Blake obviously had a history there. And I've really took out like they've learned from their history and then they decided to act on something that they had an intuition that they wanted to go and serve other people with. Yep. What an uncommon journey because a lot of people will only talk about what they want to do. Yeah. But they put their money where their mouth was and they actually did it. Um, and then we all know that I'm going to bring up she burnt the boats. She burnt the boats. No, no, I think down. that's awesome. Uh, Aaron was looking at me at this like, oh, he's getting a kick out of this. Yes, yes. like it's important to not have a plan B when you're on this uncommon path because there's going to be times where it's going to get challenging. It's going to get hard. Yeah, but not to have any other thing of like, well, I'm going to go do this now. Nope, this is what we're going to do. Yeah, I love course. that because I remember even like getting asked, "What's your contingent plan?" Yes. I remember being like. Yep. Shut up. I don't have one. Yeah. Like the fact that she brought that out, like her family and friends that she thought there'd be way more supportive. And there were some that she was really surprised with. I that's think that, something that we haven't really talked too much about. I know. I feel like that's what we need. We need to do a part, like a separate one on that. Cause I, I feel like that's a big one. And I, yeah. have, I think we all kind of forget about it cause it is kind of super hurtful. Uh huh. Right. You don't trust me. Yeah. You don't want to help me? Yeah, like, I, I want to think about some maybe some reasons why people are kind of reluctant when you say you're going down this uncommon path. We'll do a podcast. Yeah, but it, it, is a, for our, it is a good reminder, mm-hmm. and it's a good reminder for our listeners who are listening to this that you, it's, it's going to be one of those roadblocks. Yeah, that you're going to need to be bumps, prepared for. You yep. know, when you do take that leap, you know, people, there's going to be people that surprise you that don't have your back. Yeah, right. Uh, then she talked about community. I thought that was really important and powerful. Yes. The importance of community uh, in your life. And she gets to live and breathe that every day when she's doing these and pulling out these really important stories. I'm sure many of them are talking about the people that help them through a challenge or the people who help them through this yeah. or whatever. So um, I'm glad she talked about that. Yeah, what a cool thing that she gets to do every day i don't get to be reminded every day of like yeah how important life is how short it is yeah were you surprised on how many hours that she works on like one client yeah okay i knew it was going to be high i didn't have i think she's probably being conservative there a little bit because yeah you think about like three hour like interview three hour interview all the lights set up like i mean that t- i mean three hours on camera though she said like with somebody so that yeah. doesn't that inc- doesn't include you know putting everything up, taking everything down. True. So I bet like all in, she's probably 72. The, yeah. The editing, the editing alone, because yeah. it's not just like you hit play on whatever you're yeah. the, the old ladies play. And then you just kind of pipe that over some video. Like, I think that she's doing like, okay, this thing that she said at the end, I'm going to pull to the beginning. And the thing that was, you know, like, I think that she's doing that kind of stuff yeah. because in the video that we saw was mainly that stuff. And so, 
man, super talented and also cool that she wants to, like I said, serve other people in that way. Yeah. I think, it might be easier just to take pictures of family photos and call it a day. Oh, so you much know? easier, right? But I, I, don't, I forgot to ask her this because I'm get, getting into it, but I remember when I, me and my wife were talking to her when she's at her house um, that her eyesight, like the thought of like she's blind almost – I think she's legally blind in one eye. No. Yeah. Why don't we get into this? Aaron. I forgot to ask <laughs> or bring it up. So it's my fault. I'm sorry. But like, you know how I like seeing things is a big deal to her. Like, and like, like learning yeah. through that way, like, and like recording things like this. Wow. You know, that was another big, yeah. You know, she did, did really like, I'm glad we got into the, when she was 17 years old. Yeah. And then I like that. She was like, well, I was kind of untouchable. It was just a way to get out of school. But like for her mom, she realized like, whoa, this is a big deal. Um, but out of that, what did she do? She turned into be a radiologist. Yes. Right. She was impacted. So then she wanted to go impact people that way. And then as she was a radiologist, I think drawing stories out was like, oh, this is impactful. I wish I had this recorded for people. And I'm like, wait, yeah, maybe I can do that. And then doing it, love that Blake supported her in that. Yeah. Because that's a scary thing. Paving in a path that no one's paved before or, or very few have. Um, I, I love that she talked about the pricing of things. That is a hard deal when you first start a business. Oh, my gosh. Because you want business, but you probably are going to under- Price yourself. Price yourself. We've all done it. Um, So, yeah, Brittany was a great guest for the show. I hope that a lot of other people, one, listen to it just because it's Brittany. I think they will. Yeah. Uh, But then, two, I hope that they can take a little bit of that for maybe our regular listeners that haven't ever heard of Brittany. And, like, how can I apply something that she's done in her life of seeing something, reacting to it, and then helping other people engage in that service that I feel like might be a void? Yeah. 100%. 100%. So, what else did we miss? Chasing your dream, but also, like, you know, really, I guess for your faith believer listeners, understanding, like, it's the path that you're called to. Yeah, you know? right. Yeah, so, that's good. I, I like that she drew out the faith component, too. Yeah. Um, and we talked about a little bit about that before we, we hit record. And so, Brittany, you're a rock star. Uh, Blake, sounds like you're a rock star, too. He is a rock star. He's Keep a that mullet, baby. Keep the mullet. If it's not there, I let's wish bring he it back. did. Like, he would, looked awesome yes yeah and so thank you for taking your life experience and then helping it uh helping other people but you guys are uncommon uh and i wish you guys the best thanks for being on the show 